So Jeff, uh, two thirds of the way through and first day in double digits, how are you feeling? Well that makes me feel a lot better when you put it that way. Yeah, two thirds of the way through. Um, I feel okay, surprisingly okay really. And, and I'm looking forward to today because it's a really nice route for walking apparently. And, and the weather's been nice and kind to us. And the guys have had a, a great start. You know, I'm told that Fleetwood has won the best breakfast of the Walk Award already this morning. So, so it's a good start. And uh, you're on your way to Morecambe today. Yeah. And uh, we've been told it's a lot of flat terrain. And we've been told as well that you like the tarmac runs as well. It, it's, I mean, first of all, it, it's great if it's flat. You know, we, we've been through some, some pretty hilly places, you know. Not least Forest Green, you know, New Boys, the Football League. But the approach to their grounds like Kilimanjaro, you know, so it's flat. That's great. And, and tarmac, yeah, it, it just makes the walking a bit easier. You get, your feet get a bit sore by the end of it, but it makes the walking that much easier. But well, we've been told that you're quite like a tough walk. Um, <laughs> They're all tough, yeah. all of them. Uh, and you said, uh, well, we guessed that you uh, spent the night by the seaside last night from Blackpool to here. Well, you'd be wrong. We didn't. Um, um, some of the guys spent the night by the seaside. I'm told they spent the night um, you know, playing slot machines, things like that. But I was at um, Putin the Fowl at, at uh, Shard Riverside there, which was absolutely fantastic, by the way. So that was breakfast of the, the, the walk this morning. Last night was dinner of the walk, you know, question. It was absolutely brilliant. And it's all local produce, that was great. Well, it seems like you've got the full uh, Fleetwood and Filed experience. Yes, so far. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, and as you saw, there's a slightly smaller group than there have been a couple of, on the, a couple of the other days. Yeah. Uh, how would that affect everything? Um, um, it makes it easier to manage, easier to marshal. It tends to mean that you move a bit faster, you know, because we have lots of loo breaks and things like that. Um, so there aren't so many queues for that. But, um, you know, it's a small but select group. And of course, a lot of the people who will be walking today will be people who you know, have got prostate cancer. I know somebody who's got prostate cancer. In some cases, they've got terminal prostate cancer. So they're all you know, fantastic supporters of this, this cause. And we're, we're delighted to have them on. And you touched on it then about being uh, prostate cancer. Could you explain why, the, what the reason is that you're doing this walk? Well, if, if you look at today, we'll probably finish in about 10 hours' time. Yeah, and in that time, 10 men in the UK will have died from prostate cancer. Um, one in eight of us will get it sometime in our lifetime. One in four, you know, if you're black. So that I like, I like some statistics on Saturday or some Saturday. But I don't like those statistics. So we've just tried to raise awareness and change them. And there'll be quite a unique one today with the Fleetwood Ferry. Yeah, Fleetwood Ferry, absolutely. Looking forward to that. We've, we've done the Mersey Ferry, um, but Fleetwood Ferry, definitely a first as well. So, a couple of minutes to put my feet up. And um, obviously this is the second time you've done yeah. this, second year. How are you feeling at this point compared to last year? Because at this point you would have been close to the end. It would have been the last day. So, um, I mean, you know, Psychologically, it's, it's difficult to think that I've got five more days to do after this one. But in physical terms, I'm a whole lot better than I was last year. You know, touch wood. <laughs> um, so confident now that we'll get to the end and we'll get to St James's Park uh, on Friday. Well, all I can say is from all of us at the club and the town, uh, I want to wish you all the best of luck today and on all your future marches. Brilliant, and thanks to the support of everybody in the town and at the football club, it's been fantastic.